Can we do the intro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, I mean, this is bloopers right now because I'm recording, but I wear. <laughs> Get a bit closer. Eddie Gun Loma boy. Okay. Utom Patella Medical Aid. Cool. But what if the people come for me on the, on the thing? That's the thing. The nice thing about loving a tremor, you can just get in here and it's fine because it's easy to clean. Okay, guys, we're here at Runklu Nature Reserve at the 4x4 trail because you know there's no other way we can really test this tremor without coming to a 4x4 thing and you know doing it safely in a controlled environment. Because I can't take this thing to the road and say, yeah, it drives nice around cities. No one who's buying the tremor cares about cities. Um, it's gonna drive fine there, but the Blistine suspension here is more refined for it to do the hectic stuff that anyone who buys the tremor is gonna be doing. And today we just need to test out if it does those things well or if it doesn't do them well. So far from driving the car around cities, it drives fine, but the real test is here. They're lions? Wait, where is it? Just why am I outside? Okay guys, so I'm about to trickle some water. If you can see here on the camera, um, I can see my approach there, which is very good. Even when I move the steering, it just shows me just how much I need to adjust to be able to make it in there. I have my drive mode in the mod setting, and I also have the drivetrain on full high. I think that's gonna be fine for what we're trying to do. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. I tested the, we should be able to make it into the water by my stick of truth, you know, it just showed me the depth of how deep the water is we should be able to make it let's go Yarrr. Yarrr. Now we have to play. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, no, we. Okay, so at first I underestimated my abilities to drive through that terrain but we made it through some very tough things which might not be on video because you know like recording is very hard but this car is very capable it's been in the mud setting the whole time and it's been going without issues didn't skip a beat but the thing is that terrain it scared me a bit but this car just pulled us out without any issues so just went back to show you where that car pulled us out of so you see uh, it looks a bit narrow but we made it out of the deep end guys we this is nothing from where we come from this is nothing my feet are even stuck <laughs> my feet are even stuck but we made it out of crazy trenches guys this this was unbelievable um yeah i'm just out of words i'm lost for words the first time i take a ranger out to you four by four you know instead of the usual yeah this car is comfortable on the road there's air con there's what what we don't care about air concern, we just want to see how good the blitz down suspension is and so far, tops. The car is not dirty enough. 
and the way it just pulled us out of those trenches i feel like it needs to go something that's gonna seriously challenge it there's more there it says we can go more that way um i don't know what's there i don't know if it's tough or what but i have my faith this time there's another terrain it's called creepy crawly which sounds very scary so i'm just going to check it out first because don't want to put us in a very weird situation choose your line keep your ground clearance in mind be careful of the sidewall check your escape routes slow as possible fast as necessary and this thing is a two liter pushing out 154 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque fast as possible it can make it it can be as fast as possible <laughs> No, no, no. It's okay. Okay, guys. So in a bit of a tricky spot, there's that there. And this is going to help us navigate it. You see, these are the off-road tools. And what I'm going to do now is a very ingenious solution that Ford has where you click here and you're going to get that. And when you click on it, basically locks the wheel where you turn it, like the rear wheel. And then it's going to allow us to have a very short radius when going in there. I can't even drive just using this. Yeah. I'm driving using the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is nice for the hop. For the? For the hop. Damn. Wow. We are on our way. On our way home. Yeah, on our way, on our way home. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. I'm not gonna do this again. It's fun, but at the same time, it's very scary. Yeah, it's yeah. No cars. These things are beasts, but you have to be. You know, they say you can own a beast, but you have to be able to tame it. And if you can't tame it, don't own a beast. Yeah. So this car is fitted with the general 83 tires which you know make it so easy to off-road Also get the built down suspension which is at the rear as well And then at the front you still have the normal range of stuff But you also get these new spotlights, I think that's what they call them Behind these covers there's uh, what they call pullover bars or pull bars You can just open this thing here but you have to use like a screw to open it because yeah you have to use a screw to open it like that but trust me those bars are there so you can either use it to pull the ranger which hopefully you never have to do i don't think you need to pull a ranger <laughs> or you can also use them to pull any other car out and reverse or whatever and the other interesting thing you get on the outside is these 360 cameras there's one here just below the elm the emblem album emblem emblem there's yeah. one below the emblem and then there's one here as well which you know is, helps you with the sides and here this is sprayed on um you know, makes it easy for you to carry stuff but it's still a normal ranger you know you still get your 12 volts here i don't know the name of this thing but it's here <laughs> i don't know the name but it's here it's tough it's still on the outside there's nothing i can fault this car with on the interior it's also still the ranger you know but you do get your badging there to show you that you're in the trimmer the seats are fairly comfortable um even when you're off-roading like you do slide but not too much also do get the auxiliary switches there which you can just map anything to and it's gonna switch those things on whether it's lights or whatever but yeah, otherwise it's still what you get in the Ranger. You know, your drive modes, your trailer assist is there. Your off-roading tools are here. 
this is just a gauge to show you, you know, how far your wheels are turned, what degree you're in, whether you're tilting a bit or what. Sorry about the dirt, uh, but yeah, we were having some fun in the mud. And yeah, you do get some soft touch leather there. The interior is still very posh. You do have some hard plastic like here, which the things that I would not like too much is that it's easily scratchable. Like even with my nails, I can try very hard to scratch it. Let's just look at what's powering this car exactly. Let's just quickly open there. This thing is heavy, by the way. This is the two liter bi turbo diesel engine that's powering this car. It gives it 154 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque, as I've said. It's punchy, it's good enough for what it does. And off roading, it's amazing. On the road, you may be asking for too much power if you have driven the V6 and then you come into this because it does feel slightly slower. But for what it is, it does power this car very nicely. You can see it's, it's very small. It's almost a bit sad. I do like this engine. I do think it's one of the real reliable engines that Ford has. And they put in this engine pretty much in almost every new car that they're getting. Also get it in the Wildtrak X, which is a bigger brother of what this Tremor is. Okay, so I'm gonna close it up. We're gonna leave the off-road trail because it's almost late and we're gonna just check the driving review, basically. Sess. This thing is heavy. <laughs> driving this car the first thing you notice which is the only thing I don't like about this car it's how loud the engine is listen to this for me I don't think I want to hear that sound while driving there's a what's this car doing yes, yes. thankfully there's collision assist with this car so if someone tries to hop into your lane unexpectedly the car is gonna break for you in a way but yeah when driving this car drives like the normal ranges do it drives very fine I don't think I'm feeling too much difference from the built-down suspension apart from when I'm in bumpy roads which is where this car gets a more bumpy than the normal ranges and it's not bumpy in a bad way it's just it's too soft Whereas the other ranges, they are not as soft. They are a bit more stiffer. And then this one is soft and bumpy at the same time. But when driving, as I said, this engine is punchy, you know, push it, give it full throttle. And it gets me to the speed limit, just like that, which is 60 where we at right now. Um, and we're soon gonna be approaching 80, but still it gives you enough power. And I think even when overtaking, if you have enough time you can make the overtake and it doesn't feel like you need more from it and as i said it's only when you have driven the v6 diesel that when you get into this you can feel just how slower it is but if you have never experienced the v6 and you hop into this you're going to be just fine the world is going to be very normal to you you know, you're not going to have that one ex reminiscing over and say but she was better and this one, she's not doing the same things. No, this is going to be the love of your life and you're going to love her very much when you're going off-roading, especially. But if you're a person that lives in the cities but you only go, you know, to those, to your farm home once a month, I think you will do just fine with the wild, with the wild track, the XLT. This one is based on the XLT. It's basically the SLT and then they put the vinyls, they put the spotlights, they put these big tires and then you're fine. So you can get the XLT in that case. But if you are a very adventurous person, this is what you need. And trust me, it works. It does what Ford says it does. And coming it at 980 rands, which is... A bit shy from the wild track x i think it is good value for money if you are an off-road person but if you're not i would say don't buy the spiky buy the wild track otherwise the spike has been treating me good it's fairly comfortable even though the seats are manually adjustable it's fine um, you don't need to be adjusting your seats every day just do it once just be sure that you're the only person driving and you're gonna be fine Everything else, it's all the features that you get in the ranges, the big infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay, the digital cluster that you get here. 
everything is fine it's fine the only thing we needed to talk about in this car is the off-roading and i think i'm gonna cut uh, a lot of the pieces that i've talked about so far because there's no need for me to be telling you anything apart from the off-roading experience that we had which is that this car is off-road capable and for ford to make a designated off-road spec it means it's the one to get over the other normal ones 